Hello everyone, welcome back to the video series of the object oriented programming with Java. Our today's topic for this particular video that is the Java FX UI control. I am an instructor Mr. Ankit Patel. So let's start with the UI control. So the graphical user interface of the every desktop application mainly considers a UI element, layouts and the behavior. So here the UI control, I will display the different different UI control like button, text box is there, slider is there, scroll bar is there, right, radio button is there, check box is there. So I will display all the different different UI control. But if you want to display UI control in a JavaFX, you need to import one important package that is JavaFX.scene.control. And that provide all the necessary class for the UI components like button, label, text field, radio button is there, different different class we can use. So what are the different component I will explain in this particular video. Uh, that is the first one that is a label, next that is a button, next radio button, checkbox, text field, text area, combo box, list view, scroll bar and the last one that is a slider. So I will explain all this UI control the live programming so without wasting so much time let's type let's start the programming now in this session I will show you the example of the different UI control in the Java FX so the first UI control that is a label and I have already show you the example of the label in the Java FX application structure so this is a similar program I have not uh, changed uh, as much so now, but in FX, in the UI control, I have used the concept of the Java FX layout. That I will explain in the detail in my next video. But uh, what is the use of the layout? If you want to just arrange your component accordingly, just you can use a layout. So here I am using the HBox layout. So you can just add the component in the horizontal manner. So that's why I am using this HBox. In detail what is the use of the HBox that will be discussed in my next video but you can understand now in the UI control I am not using a group because group is used to grouping the coordinates the X and Y coordinate whatever you are passing that we are adding in a group but now you want to arrange this component now you UI control you no need to pass the X and Y coordinate where you want to print this particular component so you need to arrange that particular according to uh, your requirement suppose if you want to print a login page so one text uh, label is there text box is there in now in uh, last we need to add a two button in a bottom so if you want to print this type of structure then you need to use a layout so i am not printing here the login page but uh, i am just explaining about what is the use of the layout and why i am not using a group in this uh, UI control because group is used to add the coordinates <coughs> but now in uh, label or in UI control there will be no requirement of the coordinates so I, here I am now in any UI control program I am just importing a two uh, main the stage package is there and scene and application this is a require one object of the control that I am using a uh, program for this particular program I am using a label only so I am using a control dot label and one layout that is scene dot layout hbox. So <coughs> the code is simple just create the object of the UI control that I am creating the object of the label and add this label into the hbox right. So here I am just creating the object of my label and I am passing this uh, my label object in a hbox as a argument in a constructor and I am just adding a root. So let's run this code so you can easily understand. So now here we need to change this uh, we need to just enter into the what is the exact folder is there. Now the program UI control is there. So C 
CD UI control and in that particular code one uh, label demo is there so I am running that particular code you can see the output <coughs> so in my first program when I am explaining about the application structure of the Java FX at that time if you remember the label will be displayed in the center but now here I am using a, a X box so the label will be displayed in a horizontal manner so first it will display in this manner suppose now you are adding a second later label it will end in a horizontal it will add in uh, in just after this particular first label so hope you understand this label example so i have already explained about the what are the scene what the stage is there application is there uh, why we are using a create a object of the primary stage a set title is that why we are using the primary dot show method is there what is the launch method that i have already explained in my past video so I am just explaining about the different different UI control and how it will look when you run the program. Now next program that is a label. Same program is there. I am just creating removing the label line and I am creating the object of the button class. And I am add this button in a H box. So let's run this program again. Java C button demo is dot Java and Java button demo. So if you run the one button be printed in this you can see this is a button not a label you if you click on that particular button you can make a this type of program you in a uh, in a event handling I will show you when you click on button something will happen when you click on button background color will be changed when you click on button one another scene will be open you can make this type of program in a Java FX using the event handling so I am just printing the different different UI control in this particular video how to print and how, what is the use of this particular control now next there is a radio button now mostly we are using the radio button for choosing the a uh, set of values there and choosing any one value like if you want to uh, just uh, uh, want to add or uh, create a form in that particular form you need to add just the uh, detail of the uh, particular sex detail of the main that is a, uh, if the person is a male or female or other is there so one radio button is required so for radio button we need to just create i am just creating a three option is there the so radio button one two and three i created option one two three radio button we are creating just scene dot control dot star i have written because we need to two classes there radio button and toggle group so what is the use of the toggle group here so now button one and we need to combine this all this radio button in a single group if you are not combining group and you are directly add this radio button object onto the edge box so that this when you run this particular program you can select all these three radio button but what we want we can select uh, any of the only a one any of the uh, button so we need to add select this button what dot set toggle group we are setting a specific group that is a toggle group for all this button one button two and button two has a common group is there if you are creating a different toggle group then this will create as a separate link then I am adding a in a root button one two three I am not adding a toggle group object you can see over here we are not adding a toggle group we are adding a radio button object button one button two and button three but why we are using a toggle group because for setting the proper uh, for setting the uh, creating the common group I will run first of all you can easily understand Java C radio button dot Java and Java then radio button radio demo is there so you, you can see here the three option is there if you click on first option if you click on the second option the first will be disabled if you click on the third option first two will be depend so this is created because of the toggle group if you are not using a toggle group you can select all of the three button at a time <coughs> so that is the requirement of the toggle group so that's why we are writing the toggle group now next example is for the checkbox now here the checkbox is you, you can take a multiple like uh, in a form if you just enter, select the hobbies so you can see the checkbox is there so check for checkbox just create the uh, tick mark here I am creating a three checkbox C1, C2, C3 radio 1, radio mirchi and red, M, uh, red FM and I am adding all these uh, C1, C2, C3 in a radio button I am using just one label 
label is there okay who uh, what do you listen so just label will be printed so that's why i am using a label here and you can add this uh, object in a scene so let's run this code again java c check demo java check demo you can see the three checkbox is there you can tick all of three here we don't not to create a toggle group because toggle group where it is uh, required to select any of the single item <coughs> but here you want to what you want to listen so here i want uh, a different different multiple choices there then we are using the checkbox right you can use in your program <coughs> now the next example is of the text demo text box is there if you want to print uh, any text in your program just uh, create the object of the text field and add the text field object in a horizontal box i am using a two label is there user id password like you can use this type of label so your text demo dot java java text demo if you run this particular one label first display because i have arranged this component in horizontal manner so first label will be display after the label text box is there after the text box if you want to print something just you can fill all this in a horizontal manner and you can write here anything like user id like ankit patel is there whatever you want to write this is a text field right same as a uh, next example is for the text area is there now for text area uh you need to where we are using a text area to enter our address in that particular we have the uh, many lines is there so for that we are using a text area last uh, same as the last example we are creating a text field object in last example here we are creating the object of the text area now if you run this particular code text area demo is there you can see one text area will be display you and you can enter the multiple line over here right you can enter the different different uh, line over here. suppose if you want to write uh, your name then your address right so you can write address your pin code is there so you can use a uh, mostly text area for this purpose for the address purpose if you want to enter a many line then you can use a text area then the combo box is there Uh, now what is the use of the combo box so you can add a different different item in the drop down list uh, this is called as an combo box so <clears throat> this is a example of the combo box you need to create the object of the combo box new combo box and combo box dot add this is object of the combo box dot get items dot add and choice 1 2 3 uh, see the output first of all then i will explain the code java c combo demo dot java and java here one uh, just node will be display in the form of that what type of item you are adding in a combo box is it in the form of a string is it in the form of the integer is it in the form of the double that's why one node is display because we are not passing uh, of any specific value that's why this node will be display whenever you you can see the drop down list the combo box when you click on this you can select any of the item over here <coughs> okay so this is example of the combo box same same as a combo box is a something like drop down list if you click the list will be in a drop down menu but now you can also just display all this list in a, a one box is there that is a list box is there so next example is for the list view is there we need to just create the list view same as a combo box list view dot get items dot add but this output will be display in the different form you can see over here java c list java c list demo dot java and java list demo is there but this will be display in the form of the list you can select the end of the list this is not a drop down list this is a list box we can say this is a list view list box the next one that is a scroll bar suppose you can see this scroll bar over here you can also uh, see the scroll bar when you run this particular you can see here the scroll bar is there now if you want to print a different different uh, scroll bar 
or scroll bar and type of scroll bar then you can print the just create the object of the scroll bar and that add this particular uh, scroll bar here i am using a get children method you can also add the scroll bar object over here also right then no need to use a get children method but i am giving just an example of the get children method that's why i am adding uh, this into the get children method let's run this method scroll bar demo dot java java scroll bar you can see one scroll bar will be display like this because i am adding this uh, in a horizontal manner you can adjust this length and the width and you can also print a vertical scroll bar also in my next uh, video i will show you this how we can use this scroll bar so these are the component i am not uh, performing any type of specific program like when you uh, scrolling this value the background color will be adjust accordingly you can make this type of program next is a slider is there right and this is the last example i will show you first of all the output uh, how it will print it uh, not scroll bar we need to create a java c slider is there and java slider demo and this is the same as a slider demo you can see this slider in the when we are playing a music when you want to forward when you want to uh, just uh, uh, push the video and then we can use a slider you can adjust use in that particular manner <coughs> right so that is the use of the slider for slider you need to just create the object of the slider this is just a what is the initial value uh, what is the total value that 1 to 100 and 20 that is a starting point <coughs> the default value that is 10 if you run this particular code i will show you again now if you run the default uh, what is the value that is 1 to 100 the default value it will show here the 20 value is there <coughs> the default value is that uh, this is the one value and this last one that is 100 the default value when you run this code the default is the point will be displaying the 100 now suppose if you set the default value that is 90 so this will be printed accordingly first compile the program then uh, run the code so this will be displayed in the 90 value you can see over here so hope you understand all the ui control that i have uh, explained in this video so this is the end of the program so thank you very much if you have any doubt you can feel free to ask me thank you very much